Hello, today we're going to be taking a look at the bonding module, which is a module for a larger app called Electrical Calculator. So to start with, we're going to go up and we're going to start a new job. So we'll click the job module and we'll hit the plus button to create a new job. And we'll call it Google. Hit OK and it's selected, but if you need to select another job, you just hit the arrows on the left. If you need to delete a job, you just hit the trash can and delete the job. So let's go ahead and select Google. So now all the receptacle calculations we do are going to be saved under this Google job. So let's go ahead and back out of the job module. Scroll down and go into the bonding module, which is the uh, grounding clamp and says bonding. So we'll click on that. It'll open up. Now, within here, just like in, within the job module, we can go into a grounding list. You'll notice right away that Google is selected. Our selected job always shows up in the uh, title bar here, so you know what job you're working on. Now, to get into the grounding list, we either click on the uh, icon here of the ground clamp or the heading bonding. So go ahead and click on that. And these are all our bonding calculations saved under the job Google. So, again, you can create a bunch here. You can delete them, you can select them, you can do whatever you want. So let's just go ahead and name this one Main Bond for sake of the tutorial. And it's selected, so we'll go ahead and back out of our bonding list. And now you'll see we're in the Google job and we're working on our main bond. Now this module is pretty simple, it's mostly results. Um, all these green text boxes here. Um, indicate results so you can click on them all you want but you can't actually directly modify them the only selection you need to make in this module is the ampacity selection so this is either the ampacity of your overcurrent device or the ampacity of your wire as of the 2018 code um, you can select one or the other <clears throat> which accounts for parallel runs wire more so than the uh, older code books did so We'll go ahead and let's say we have a 200 amp service. So we'll go 200 amp. And that's it. <laughs> Pretty simple. This module is more of just a convenience module to uh, save you from going to your code book. Um, although at the bottom we do have a code reference. So you can see where this information is coming from. And at this point you'll see the calculations are all made. Um, copper wire if you're using copper. Aluminum wire if you're using aluminum. And of course, if you're building bus bar, you also get copper and aluminum uh, bus uh, areas, cross-sectional areas that are required for a 200 amp um, overcurrent or wire. So that's about it. Now, once you do have these results, there are things you can do with them other than just view them in the app. And to do this, you can go up to your main menu uh, button up in the upper right. Go ahead and click on that. And we'll just go through these one at a time and I'll explain what they do. Email, the first one, will take the selected bond. So right now our main mo main bond for Google. It'll take just the selected one and it will put all those results into an email and open your default email browser and you can email that off to whomever you like. The next option, email as CSV. What this one does, it's gonna take all the bond calculations of the Google job so whatever, you might have 20, 30 calculations under that job, it's going to take all of them and it's going to put them into a spreadsheet or a comma separated value file, which can be opened by any spreadsheet. And it's going to email it off and then you can open it in a spreadsheet, <clears throat> you can edit it, you can uh, organize it, do whatever you want with it. Help will open our written user manual. It's actually a uh, online PDF user manual for this module. Print will do exactly what it says. It'll print the selected uh, bonding calculation, just the one. Um, this option obviously is contingent on the fact that you have a phone that is capable of printing. Um, sometimes you got to install some third-party software as well. I know for me, I use an Xperia, Sony Xperia, and I have an Epson printer here at home. Um, and I needed to install the Epson app in order to print to my printer. But even if you have no printer, this will still bring up print dialog and allow you to print to PDF as well. 
Recalculate will just uh, recalculate your current calculation. In this module, it's sort of irrelevant, but in a lot of our other modules, the recalculate is quite handy for um, doing a recalculation. Reset is a little more destructive. Um, what it does is it takes all the values for the currently selected uh, calculation and resets them to their default values, which again in this module is only one value, but you can see how in other modules this would be a, a lot more uh, something you'd use a lot more. Video tutorial will bring you to this YouTube video tutorial, which you're watching on your phone. And of course, cancel will just cancel you back out of this menu. So that's about it. Pretty simple module. I hope you enjoy it and I hope it saves you time and effort going to your code book all the time. And uh, yeah, have a great day.